the iPad to a TV using HDMI. I'm Justin Spiegel and I'm gonna show you. There are many reasons why you would wanna connect your iPad to the TV using HDMI. And for me, it's for DJing. I'm a DJ and when I do DJ gigs, I either bring a small television or a projector and I connect my DJ app from my iPad into the TV and I could do visuals, I could do music videos, and it adds a whole new element to my DJing. But you can, there's many other reasons why you would wanna connect your iPad to the TV. Some of the ones that I do is, if I'm at a hotel and I wanna watch a movie on the TV, instead of paying for their movies when I already have Netflix, I just connect my iPad with the HDMI right into the TV. And if the HDMI is long enough, you could sit there in the bed and you could watch whatever you want on Netflix on the big screen TV. And that devices like the F Fire Stick and Chromecast, they sometimes don't work at hotels because of the wi how the Wi-Fi is set up with the passwords. So the only way to watch Netflix from your iPad on the hotel's TV is by using the HDMI connection. Another one is you could get full versions of some of the greatest uh, video games, such as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and various different games that you could play with a wireless Bluetooth controller. So instead of going out and buying an Xbox, buying a PlayStation, buying something like that, you just connect your iPad, which you already have, with the HDMI into the TV, and you can play the on the big screen whatever game you want. So there's a there's one thing that you're gonna need. Well, two things. You're gonna need an, the correct adapter, and you're also going to need the an HDMI cable, but that's pretty straightforward and that's the easy part. The hard part is picking out the right adapter. There's many different adapters that you could use and for this video I'm telling you guys how to connect an iPad Pro with the HD which the with the USB C connection into HDMI. So we want this this is the end that's going into our iPad. And this is the end that is going into our TV, monitor, or projector. So there's plenty of different options on the market. There's ones where it's kind of like a wire, where it's one end is like is the USB-C and the other end is the HDMI. Or there's ones like this where it goes in the USB-C and then you put the HDMI and the only other port is HDMI. Now the problem with that is you're not going to be charging your iPad. So if you're trying to watch a movie, or if you're DJing like I am, in the middle of the movie, in the middle of your DJ set, your iPad could die on you. And then, you know, party over. Movie's over, and it could ruin the whole time. So you want to make sure that, that your device is not only projecting the HDMI, but is also being adequately charged. I'll leave links down below for the uh, adapters that I recommend, and this is the one that I use and I really love this one. I have another one, but the problem is that it has no port for charging, so I can't use it for that long. I currently use it to connect my microphone into my iPad, but this is the kind that I would recommend. It's USB-C on one end, and then it has HDMI on another end, and then it has a USB-C charging port. Make sure when you're thinking about purchasing one, because some of them will even have a USB-C port on it, but it won't be a charging port. So just make sure that it could charge your device. That's the most important part. And then this specific one has this regular H, uh, regular USB port. So I use this one to connect my, my DJ controller. So what you could do is this goes in here and that goes into the DJ controller. And then the HDMI goes into the TV and then the charger goes in to here. So now I'm charging the iPad with this. I'm getting the HDMI signal through this HDMI port, and then I have a USB, a regular USB port that I could connect to the DJ controller, or you could connect to whatever else you plan on using with your iPad. Now you are officially connected 
your iPad is whatever is playing on the screen on your iPad will be playing out of the HDMI on the TV. And if you're do if you're using this for DJ Pro to DJ with, in the DJ Pro app, you could either mirror the screen so it'll show it, all the knobs and all the sliders and all the stuff you're doing in DJ Pro if you want to show your audience that, or you could have it show only the full screen of the video mix section. Now, if you're using this to watch a movie, a couple of things to keep in mind is one, if you want to pause it, if you want to fast forward, or if you want to choose a different movie, you're not going to have a remote. So make sure you get a long enough HDMI cable. It's kind of old school to be actually touching the device while it's wired in, but that's the way you have to do it. If you want to watch TV, watch Netflix, watch Hulu with your iPad connected with, H with HDMI. Now, another thing is your screen is still going to be on. So if you turn the screen off, then there'll be nothing on the TV because it's doing an exact mirror of your screen. So one thing I would recommend is just turning the, turning the, the dimness, make it as dim as possible, just lower the brightness on your screen, and then just put your iPad upside down so that the light from the screen doesn't bother you while you're trying to enjoy the movie. And make sure that it doesn't get an unplugged. So make sure that the connection into the iPad is a good connection and you have a high quality adapter. And th that's about it. If you plan on doing this with vi for video games such as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or there's other great first person shooter games that you could get a wireless controller and you could have, now you have your iPad connected with the HDMI. Now the screen is still gonna be on but what you could do with the wireless controller is you could, it could be just like you're playing PlayStation, just like you're playing Xbox, because you could be sitting there with the controller playing the game on a big screen TV, like playing on a console. Make, make sure that your iPad is charging if you're using this to play games or watch movies or to DJ, because it just is the worst feeling when you're playing a game or you're DJing and then the iPad dies and you have to charge it and wait a while. Because some of these devices, even if they offer the USB-C port for charging, you'll be using a lot of power because you have the screen on, so it's going to be using a lot of power, so you want to make sure you're putting more power in. So I would recommend using the official Apple charger that came with your iPad or the one that comes with your MacBook to ensure that your device is charging completely. And I definitely recommend, if you have the iPad, Connect it to the TV, get the wireless video game controller, and for like $40, you have basically a pretty decent video game console. You don't need to go spend $500 and buy a video game console, especially if you're someone like me that doesn't play video games that much. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments what you use your iPad and HDMI for. Also, if you guys are interested in DJing on the iPad and learning the DJ Pro app, that's what my channel's about, and ask me any question and I'll answer them. Thanks. Bye.